Uh, here's some items I'm going to have for sale on <coughs> eBay. It's a brand new IS60 Pro Tools kit. It's got the blue snips. You can see, they've been used. Also got the screwdriver adapter and the 110 66 punch down. The flashlight, I've also got a Night Eyes upgrade kit on it. It's got the 1 watt LED, a lot brighter than the regular one. I've got the IQ switch from Night Eyes also. It's got three modes. You got full power, medium, low, slow strobe. You can click it five times. Get the fast strobe. Very bright. And it's got throw to it too. So anyway. That one's brand new. I've got a used one here. It's got the regular yellow snaps. Well, same as those are just your tools. Anyway, all the same stuff. This one's got IQ switch too, and all that. Okay. Uh, also have here. Let's see if those go through. Okay. This is the Fluke Networks Micro Scanner 2, well, MS2 kit. has the micro scanner 2 as well as the Intellitone Pro 200 Pro <coughs> well, it comes with everything, it's got all six of the uh, remote IDs, number 2 through 7 because the top is actually number 1 you get your 8 conductor RJ45 to alligator clip. We'll put each conductor has its own. This is terminated on A, <coughs> so if you're on B, you're actually going to have to swap the blue, I mean the green and the orange. <coughs> you're doing it on open wire. Yeah, it's got the free D snips, uh, you register thing. We got the Intelitone Pro CD. Uh, quick start guide got the patch cords for the cat 3 cables all in a nifty little folder bag uh, got the micro scanner CD came in a paper case, I don't like paper case and I got plenty of these so I put that there uh, these are screen guard protector custom made for the uh, flute networks Different, uh, what do you call them? Uh, different testers, I guess. Uh, let's see, and I still got the regular original wires, the gray ones, but I like these, they match better. I think that makes a difference. But, you know, they also come with the RJ or RG6 patch cord. I've got the uh, quick connectors on the ends. Mm -hmm. Them on. Makes it easy to plug in and out. Well, you can just plug it directly in. You don't get to screw nothing. Well, might as well test it. Show you how it works. Okay, power it on. Can you pick a port? Will change in between your Ethernet port or your well, Cat6. No, sorry, category cable or your uh, coax cable. Mm -hmm. Throw that on there, it tells you it's six foot, connected to number one ID. Okay. And now it's not telling you the ID, but it'll still tell you the length even without the uh, anything attached to it. You can do that on any cable. Alright, let me show you what the category. Alright, this 
switch the port. Now it's on Ethernet. Tony Link's four foot. And if you plug it into the remote ID, you'll see it pop up. It comes up with a full wire map, tells you which one it's connected to, and as well as the length. Well, hold on. I don't know what I'm hitting port for. Mode. Oops, sorry. Let's get back to the rhythm. Okay. You can look at each individual pair in the wire map singularly. That's one, two, three, and six, four, and five, seven, and eight. Okay. And let's see. Then you can switch the modes over. If you switch it to an Intellitone, plug it into the back, which I mean you could do this and plug this in at one end. And on the far end you can plug this, check your wire map. Put it all the way to wire map with Intellitone on. Sorry. What am I doing? Oh, have it on coax. There we go. <laughs> and it'll read one through eight. Show you it's in order. If any of them are out of order, it'll go one, and then it'll go to the one that's in the wrong spot. If it goes one, three, two, then you know two and three across. Okay. Okay. And, oops, unplugged the wrong one. And you can test the Intellitone feature. This is your digital toner. You've got two different tones. Cycles through. We've also got analog. We've got four, uh, four analog tones. If you put it on teletone and put this on analog, it get funky sound. Okay, oh, that's all great to go. Uh, well, there's some cool little tricks you can do when you first turn it on. If you hold down these two buttons, you can change your, uh, like if you have a known cable that's five foot, put it in there and if it's coming up as four, you can adjust it so it'll know it's five or you got a cable that's 60 foot. And you know it's 60 foot, you can adjust it depending on brand sometimes. It'll come up a little different. Or depending on the category, Cat 6, Cat 5, they've got tighter twists, so it'll say one's longer or one's shorter. And then to set that, you move it up or down, change the port itself. Anyway, that's all detailed stuff you can check out later. Thank you for watching.